Hi, Joseph here. Um, good morning, guys. I'm recording this very early in the morning, so that's why my voice is like this. <laughs> so I just quickly want to show you a quick tip on um, turbulence safety. So I've started tutorials on turbulence safety. So as I'll be getting um, problems and solving them, I'm going to be showing you how to solve that. So this might be very short and I hope to be, I hope for this to be very short. So the issue here is that how can you pass um, fluid or gas from in a tube? So how is it possible for you to do that? Really it's possible, but there's just one small hiccup to that. And we're going to look at how to solve that issue right here. So what I have in the scene is I have a, a sphere which is supposed to be the source of the smoke or fire and then the tube which I wanted to go through. So how I created this tube was just um, sweep. You can already see I already converted this. It's just a sweep object that I created and circle as a profile along this path. So that's how I did that. So the first thing we're going to do is to bring up our turbulence safety container. So click that, make sure this is inside this container. Everything is very important. So in my own case, I've set that just because I want to be very fast. So once this is set to be inside the container, the next thing you want to do is to go to the source object. So let me just call this source. So once you go to the source object, you hit shift C and look for um, turbulence of diameter so turbulence so what I need is diameter so I'll just keep clicking that so that comes here so you want to activate a couple of channels here so we do we you can decide to work with temperature only or um, density so I'll just work with both so I know that I'm emitting temperature channel and also density so once I'm done with that I'll go to the container and I am going to create a new simulation. So by the way, if you don't understand what I'm doing right here, I have a tutorial which I set for this purpose. I explained um, all these things. So you just check that. You can just check in the link description or the card up there so you can just pick up. So for this, we just want to quickly go. So I have this to check. So I'll go to the simulation. I make sure the temperature is activated and also the density. All right, so I want this fluid to move along um, Z axis, positive Z. So that means what I'm going to do is to go to this, change from, so the gravity is just more like X, Y, Z. So I want it to be positive Z and also for temperature, positive Z. So that is set. Okay, so this is zero for temperature and one for D. So I know that this is moving along that. So if I hide this, for now and see what I have. So if I go to um, simulate and start. So this is what I'm looking for. I want the simulation to go along this part. So the other thing is I want to break up this simulation. It looks so fake and linear. I want to add some turbulence to it. So just quickly abort and come back. Go to turbulence and maybe just add eight. And also vorticity, maybe add four. So what channel do I want the vorticity to be visible on in my viewport? So I'll just let it affect um, the temperature. So for this, let it also let it also affect the temperature. Then for the turbulence, I want the smaller, the smallest to be eleven and the largest to be 24. So let me recalculate and override. So let's see what we have. Um, we are still having this. So we are seeing this breaking now, but it's not still that intense. So I think we can still put more intensity to this. So let's try 24 vorticity. Let's try it. And let's see. Okay, so we're beginning to have that. So this is fine. I don't want to go beyond that. So we are uh, started creating the um, 
smoke and fire effect so the next thing is how can we let this guy go through the um, tube so if i bring up this tube and also make this tube um, extra so you can see through you'll be sure of that so for us to make that we need to make this tube a collider object so it's up lens so right click on it go to top lens fd emitter and make sure you check check this collision object as soon as you do that notice notice what something will happen so let me just create a new container so new cache rider so i know that i don't affect this so if we are start this nothing will happen you notice it starts and then goes away and the reason is because um turbulence fd finds it finds it out to simulate through a thin hollow object so you need to create a shell for this before the simulation will be seen so that's the reason why you're not seeing this effect because um though is a tube object but because this is thin like paper it's seeing it as a closed object not a shell object so you need to make sure you tell turbulence empty that this is a shell object so for us to do that what we we'll do is we we'll use a cloth object to turn this to this or you can just extrude so any anyone works so so if you select it hold down all to go to simulate cloth and for the cloth we don't want subdivision we only want thickness so we want to thicken it just like that you can even decide say maybe you want to thicken it 0.2 or 1 so so far you have this thickness you will start seeing this so if i check this and make it extra again and if i hit n b you see that and a so what we'll do now is we we'll transfer this tab over to the cloth object so if i do that and come back so let's get to this and create another cache object and simulate you will see that this will go through so that's the solution to that so anytime you're going through this and you want to create um simulation along the tube and this is not going through you can just um, create that and make it so now another issue here now is this is going through this so the thickness is not enough so what we'll do is i'm going to stop this um let me just support that and come back so if we go back to this and make this one for instance and go to the tag and for this radius i think the radius is fine really nothing more to that so solution here for me is just increasing this um thickness and that should solve that so if we create a new one and simulate and see if we are going to have this going through okay so you can see this is not going through anymore because one centimeter is um, large enough is thick enough to hold this guy bound so you can notice this isn't going out of that tube so it's following the tube and moving through so that's um, pretty much what this tutorial is about i just wanted to show you guys how this is done i'm so sorry guys i i, I was on call so i had to just post that so if we come back and play this through you see this goes through and it doesn't come out it doesn't come out so i can't even let's, let me just hide this um, so we can see that very well you can see it goes through and it's not coming out like in this case where this came out so that was, this was the first one when the thickness was um still small but by the time we increase the thickness, you see it going through. So I yeah, just felt I should explain this guy, this stuff to you because um, when I started this, it was giving me headache looking for resources and how to solve that. And it just happened that just increasing thickness will solve that problem. So this is just a tip, and I hope this was helpful. Maybe in your projects, you might have anything you want to do, so you could just since you know what to do next so you can you are good to be sure that
we don't have this problem is solved so let's look for another issue and tackle that in the next tutorial so do have a wonderful day and god bless you bye oh by the way please um I, i've been getting comments and i really appreciate um most of my um viewers are really telling me what they feel they, what they want me to do and all that i'm i'm going to try my best to look for references and to explain how i will do the animation you know okay so um maybe i will go on to the phone animation or i will still continue with this but then if i don't get the reference that i like that i feel i should talk about with the phone animation i'm going to continue with this turbulence fd because i have a lot of things to talk about with this turbulence fd so um once more do have a wonderful day and god bless you